Welcome back to Plasma Channel. Last time on episode one, I showed you how you can bend fire. That's pretty cool. But today, I'm going to show you how you can control and bend water. So stick around. What is great about water is that it is what's known as a polar molecule, having a positive and a negative end. That means one thing. It can be affected by external positive and negative charges. However, bending water does vary from bending fire for one reason in particular. If you recall last episode, I mentioned how fire is a type of plasma composed of separate positive and negative charges. But water has both of its charges on the same molecule. So how are we going to bend water again? Because some of its electrons are free to move between atom to atom. Meaning you can repel those electrons leaving a net positive charge. Take this negatively charged comb for example. It repels the electrons up and down the stream of water leaving a net positive charge on the water. Positive is attracted to negative, bending the water. But what does it all mean, Basil? Well, it means this. If you negatively charge your body, just like we did to that comb, then you have the power of that comb. <laughs> Sign me up. So knowing what we know now, I'm going to go ahead and charge myself up to about 200,000 volts or so. And I'm going to have a lot of fun at science. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we do science here. Hey everybody, I really hope you enjoyed this video today. Now if you're a fan of science, do me a really big favor. Subscribe to my channel or leave a comment below. Now episode 3 is coming up in a few weeks and I'm going to finally talk about what the heck this device is and how I can be shocked with 400,000 volts and be perfectly fine. Volts is all that matters, right? Completely wrong and I'll be talking about that in episode 3. Now, if you'd like to see me bend fire and learn how to bend fire yourself, click this link right here for episode one. I'll see you next time on episode three of Plasma Channel.